Hey guys, Tyler here with API Nation, here to show you how to set up our Shop Boss and QuickBooks desktop integration. So the first thing we'll wanna do is click on that Connect QuickBooks desktop button, which will take us to a set of instructions about how to connect QuickBooks desktop to API Nation. And you'll see at the very top here, one of the prerequisites for setting up this sync is having that QuickBooks web connector installed on your system. And how do you know if you've got the web connector? It's really easy to find out. You'll just want to open up that QuickBooks company file that you're looking to use, click on the file menu at the top of the screen and choose update web services right toward the bottom there. When you click on this, you should see a pop-up open up or I just saw this in a system tray here because mine was already open. And it, if you see this pop-up on your screen in QuickBooks, then we're good to go, we're in business. If it looks like you're missing the web connector, please contact your QuickBooks administrator or feel free to reach out to our team at support at apination.com. We are always happy to help you out and I'm sure we could get that all resolved for you. But if you've got this pop up here, then we're in business and we can go back to our instruction sheet here and start from the top. We actually just did numbers one and two already. So we went and we opened up the company file that we wanted to access and we checked on that web connector. It's open now and in that box. The third step for us is to download this apination.qwc file. So you'll wanna go ahead and click on that link and it will open up a download window and you'll see in the downloads tray, we've got this new apination.qwc file in our downloads. And we're going to want to save that to the same place where the QuickBooks company file is located. Now I'm going to go ahead and save mine in the default spot. And so if you haven't ever changed this location, you will know that uh, you will notice that it's in the exact same place. That's on your local disk, that C drive under users, public, public documents, into it, QuickBooks, and company files. And if, if I went a little fast there, you can see the full path up here at the top that's under users, public, public documents, into it, QuickBooks, company files. And this is exactly where I'm going to want to save what that file that I just downloaded here. So if I go ahead and I find a little space, scroll to the bottom here, and then I drag and drop this download right into that folder, you'll see now we've got this apination.qwc file saved right next to our company file. And, and what that does for us is it keeps everything nice and organized. You've got this in a safe space right next to the company file. If you ever need to access it again, you'll know exactly where it is. And we will just do that in, in just one second. So back to the instructions here. Uh, we see we're moving on to number four. In the QuickBooks Web Connector, we want to go ahead and add the application that we just downloaded. So we open up QuickBooks again and we look at this web connector right here. And you'll see in the lower right hand corner, there's a button that says add an application. You're going to want to click on that and you're going to want to navigate to that exact same folder where we just saved the file. So we'll go back through users, public, public documents, into it, QuickBooks and company files. And I'll see if I scroll down to the bottom of this directory here, we see right here that API nation.qwc file that we just saved to this folder. We want to go ahead and open that. Now I'm gonna get this pop up because I'm replacing an existing application already. So I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, no here, but you shouldn't even see this pop up. Um, what you will see is this first, and this is part of the instructions. So let me just back out to that page again real quick before we address that. You'll see in step five, the authorized new web service screen will be displayed and we want to click OK. So I will be on this uh, QuickBooks page and I want to click OK for this. This is giving API Nation permission uh, to uh, access the QuickBooks web connector. And then the second page pops up and, uh, and I'll, again, I'll go back to the instructions. This is your instruction number six. You'll see an authorized access screen that gives API Nation the ability to access the company file that you have open in QuickBooks right here. And when we're looking at this page, we want to select the option for allowing access even if QuickBooks is not running. And what that does for us is it allows 
the sync to continue to run, to continue to process those invoices and those payments coming from ShopBoss, even when somebody's not sitting in front of the computer and has QuickBooks open. It gives our app the ability to open QuickBooks, run the sync and shut it down again. And you'll see that we also have the ability. Um, we also have the option in the multi-user option. Uh, we want to select the user that we're acting on the be behalf of. So that's probably the user that we use to log into QuickBooks. Um, but again, if you have any confusion, you can talk to the uh, system admin that works with your QuickBooks and I'm sure they can give you the right answer here. So you'll want to click yes, and then you'll want to click continue. And this is just a quick summary right here of what we've done. We've given the application API Nation QuickBooks Desktop Integrator the ability to access the QuickBooks company file uh, at any time, even if QuickBooks is not running. And so I'll click done there and we're all set up. And so now what we've got here uh, we'll go back to our list and we'll go down to uh, point number seven, which is we need to provide the password for this web connector application to run. So you'll see the password right here. It's just a series of letters and numbers that's going to be different from the one that you see on my screen. Uh, every password is unique to each instance of the API Nation integration that's running. And so you'll want to copy that full password where it is right there and you'll want to paste that into the QuickBooks web connector. And we see that little notification in the lower right-hand corner that our new application has been added. So let's go take a look. And you can see at the bottom of our list, we've got this new application and it's got this box for a password, but it's empty. So we want to go ahead and paste in that password that we just copied off the other page. And side note on this, everybody, you will be able to find that password in your API Nation settings in the future. If you ever find that you're missing it or you need the password again, it's saved nice and secure in your API Nation account. Now, step number eight, we want to check the box to the left of the API Nation uh, application, and we want to click the update selected button. And what this will allow the sync to do is to do all of its initial setup that the application requires in order to work. So it looks like that password was cleared out. So I will enter it one more time and save that password. And now that it's checked in this box on the left hand side, I want to go up and choose update selected at the top. Now, since this application is running for the first time, it's doing a lot of initial setup. It's communicating with our service at API Nation, letting us know, hey, we're all set up. We're good to go. And we'll be able to see a test of that in just a second. So that application wrapped up nicely. And there's also here, you'll see in the subtext, we can also set up this auto run button that will allow the QuickBooks Web Connector to run, let's say every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes to make sure that we're always getting the most up-to-date invoices and payments from ShopBoss into API Nation. So let's go do that right now. You'll want to go ahead and click on this auto run button right there. And we can say, uh, hey, let's run once an hour. Every 60 minutes sounds great uh, for us. So let's go ahead and leave that at the default. And that will go ahead and run itself once an hour to pick up all of your updated invoices from ShopBoss. So finally, we've got uh, this last step down here where you'll be able to verify that everything we did worked out really well. So when I click test connection, I'm going to see um, a success message right here. You see that our business has been connected and we want to click on that next button right there. That allows us to carry on with the uh, setup of the sync and make sure everything is looking uh, is perfect for us. Uh, so thank you guys. And remember, if you ever need any help, please reach out to us at support at apination.com. We love doing this stuff. We're always here to help.